I've interviewed a ton of entrepreneurs all around the world, but one of my favorite stories is actually my own family. They quit their nine to five jobs a couple years ago to start a food truck business that is now making them over six figures a year. And today I'm back in my hometown to tell the story of how they did it. Oh, and at the end, I have a huge surprise that's gonna change their entire business. This is where I grew up at. Came a long way, boys. Hi, Jordan. <laughs> Good to see you. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Everybody, this is my mom. Maybe you saw her in our video together where, you know, we bought Big E or the video where we gave away a bunch of presents to the people. We did. But today, what are we going to be doing? Today, we are feeding 300 people. What is your business that you're feeding people with? Uh, Dave's Bang & Barbecue. Uh, we dish out the best Bang & Barbecue in town. We have brisket. We have pulled pork. We have smoked turkey breast. Award winning. Award winning, that is, yeah. Well, we got a big day planned we today. We do. And there's a lot of things we have to do, so let's go with you and let's do it. Let's do this. All right, come on. All right let's go. Show them what that cold start is like. <laughs> Stop playing with Econ Mom, man. Don't play with her. But yeah, up here is where it all began. I called this our hot spot. This was before we had our big trailer that's in front of us. We had a little smoker. And uh, we used to come here, right there, guys. That was the hot spot. Right there. Look at that. That was the hot spot. And, you made some um, money there, though. We made some money at the hot spot. That made us Dave's Bang & Barbecue right there. But instead, we're on our way to feed 300. What kind of risk did you have to take to actually start this business? This business? Oh, boy. My whole life. I started working when I was 14. I'm 53. For me and for him to be like, we're going to work for ourselves, it was scary. And Definitely. it was a risk. We're going into something where, okay, yeah, we've been making decent money. We're paying our bills. But what if... For example, one year, it rained a lot. Mm -hmm. And then we had that bad hurricane. Mm -hmm. And not gonna lie, like, we weren't paying our mortgage. You know, it, it wow. got to that point, yeah. But God, God always prevails. Boom, we all started getting these big parties, you yeah. know, and all of a sudden the money started going back in the bank and we were able to pay our mortgage again. And, you know, it all just, it all just came back. So the risk was worth it. The risk was worth it. So now we're gonna pull in. David's gonna open up the trailer and uh, we're gonna get these tables set up. We're gonna feed hundreds. And how much did they pay you for this party? Today's payment was $7,900. Hey, you really came a long way. Let's go make some people happy with Let's this food. Do it. <laughs> Can you please give me a job of some sort? Yeah, right. there you go. Yo, boy, is my first day on the job. Actually, not. I've worked with Dev on many parties and many events. I kind of like it. Mm. I do this. You shared how much that you made from this event today, but about how much did this business bring in for you last year? Last year, I can say 100k. Yeah, a little over 100k. It's amazing. How much of that would you say is coming from events versus the roadside that you guys do every weekend? Our events are our quick, big money. You know, mm -hmm. like say a wedding of of 150. That's a good 2,600 in two hours. We're done. Roadside days can run anywhere from the smallest 300. We've had 300 dollars days. The largest 1,200, and that's only from 11 to 3. Just in so, a couple hours. Yeah, we can do a $1,200 day, like easy. Yeah. And how are you guys actually securing these events? They uh, they try the food, and I it's like a my husband he likes to fish, so it's like we, we got them just like that. <laughs> and then they reach out for their weddings, out, birthdays, the weddings. Yeah. business events. Yeah. Well, I know you got a lot more work to do, I so do. I'll let you finish setting up the okay. event. All right, so we're here with the man himself, Pitmaster Dave. What's the What's the process like to make some food like this? Well, it takes approximately 12 to 14 hours. Like last night, what, you had to wake up? Every hour and a half, so. That's some real dedication. You've been doing this for years now. Yeah, we're going on seven years. That's Five awesome. years self-employed. Yeah, that's what it takes, man. A lot of people don't have that dedication to really do it, but you show up every single weekend, sitting out in the hot sun. Now we have shade, so. Yeah, <laughs> you definitely got some upgrades over yeah, the years. In the beginning, we were in the direct sun. That's what they go crazy for right there. Meanwhile, my surprise was going as planned. Yeah, for sure. I mean, what time do you need it by? Um, within the next couple of hours. Okay, that's fine. I can do that. I love you. Thank you very much. Can't say too much right now, but we got a surprise going. All right, guys. So it's the countdown. I believe the people are starting to come in. Yeah, it's crazy. It's a lot more people than I thought it was going to be. A lot more people showed up than what was counted for, but you know what? It's okay. We uh, always cook for more. I know, right? My 
feet are like throbbing right now. I was I was standing for literally what nine ten hours doing the macaroni and cheese last night. And now I, you're up for four or five hours already today. But everybody's happy. So mission accomplished on the party today. Good job. Now we can go back home and relax a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna put my feet up. Oh. Yeah. Let's yeah. do it. Let's All get right, out let's of do here. It. Let's Come go. On. Let's go. To finish the day and celebrate their success, I had a crazy surprise planned back at home. A couple months ago, my mom and David came to me with the idea of launching their own seasoning. And honestly, I thought it was genius. They make pretty good money doing what they do, but if they had a product that they could sell online, I think it could scale their business much faster. So I got my team to design them a Shopify store, and I'm headed to the bank right now to give them some money so they can run some ads and launch this business officially. My mom has no idea about this, and I'm very excited. Uh, I would like to withdraw some cash today. How much are you taking? 10,000. That will be all for me. Okay, you Thank too. You. <laughs> Mama, I love you. God is good. Don't forget that. Keep God in your life. <laughs> Happy birthday, kid. What happened? <laughs> all right, so I want to show you guys something. Uh, we worked really hard today. We um, and I know you guys have been working hard in the seasoning business, but we kind of stopped doing that, right? We did. So I had my team at Viral Vault go ahead and recreate the entire website yeah. and make it all nice and clean and up to date. So yeah. have a look at it, check it out. So we updated it uh, to have more of like a cleaner look. I like it. A little more modern oh, wow. looking and website. Oh wow, with the food, nice yeah. buddy. But the last thing was that after the party today, you guys got no tip. <laughs> Jordan, you just better sit down. <laughs> so Wait, no, 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 no. So like you guys Jordan. did such a good job. <laughs> that I got up. you a tip. Stop it, buddy. You don't it's have a tip. to do that. It's just a fair tip for the work that you did. It was a, it's a tip. You should open it. <laughs> it's for both of you. It's really for the business. Uh, put it in a business account, use it for whatever you want. Funny. But as a tip. <laughs> I love you. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, you guys deserve it. You can use it for ads. You could use it for more stuff for the barbecue business. Whatever you want. Hey, I'm off this weekend. Yeah. Let's hey, go. let's go to the club. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hey, look, with that being said, check out bangandrub.com. David made one of the best seasonings I've ever had in my entire life. The link to that is going to be down below. I appreciate you guys so much for watching the videos every single week. And mom, any last words? If you're not following him and following his journey, you, you're just, you're doing it the wrong way. How much is it? <laughs> what? Mama's got, this is more than a band, right? This is, yeah. It's 10 G's. 10. Also, happy birthday to my little brother. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. And I'm broke. See you guys next week. I gave my mama 10,000 at least a thousand times. Do the math on it.